please show the support guys if you like this video then please hit the like button like this and also share this video by hitting this share button and please hit this red subscribe button and turn all notifications by selecting all so you will get all the notifications of my channel it is totally free uh, hello friends today in this tutorial I will be telling you that how to download a file inside your flask application so this is the interface of this application if I click the download button it will download this file as an attachment uh, in this case it is a PNG file you can just try this thing on all kind of files PDF files uh, JPEG files all that stuff so the logic remains constant and now you just need to go to your uh, text editor and create a simple app.py file inside your directory this is my png file you can see that output.png it is there in the same directory apart from that you also need to create a templates folder inside this you just create your index.html and that's it so now first of all you just need to import the flask library from flask you just need to import the flask library and also you just need to import the send file library in order to send files to the browser apart from that you also need to import render template so this will be useful in order to insert html inside our flask application and now we just need to create an app variable inside this we just need to initialize our flask application inside this we will pass the name attribute and now we just need to guys initialize our main function so if name is equal to main is equal to main then we just need to call the run function inside this we can just pass the debug is equal to true property so this will restart the application whenever you make any kind of changes and now we just need to load our index.html file for this i can just make a app.route request at the home route when we hit this home route we just need to define a home function inside this we can just return render template inside this we can just pass here index.html so index.html so this will load the template which is stored inside index.html here it will be a very simple template which will be holding download a file inside this we have a paragraph tag inside this we will be having an anchor tag the href attribute will be equal to this property which is url for and inside parentheses we will be holding a property you can just name it anything of your choice but uh, i will be naming it as a download file just name it as url for and inside single quotes we can just write download file so this is the name of the method that you need to specify just write this and the label will be download and now if I re run this application so if I open this localhost 5000 so it will tell me that it could not build URL for the endpoint that is download file that I have specified here in the index.html download file so this is looking for this download file so here we just need to make a, another get request so let me just make a get request my keyboard is not working so here we just need to write another get request app.route and uh, when we make slash download request it should download the file so we will be just be writing the same function name here that we have specified here you can see that download underscore file so it should match here whatever thing that you have spe specified here it should match here so this is the name of the method so inside this it will just return send file and first of all we just need to specify the path so just make a path variable so path variable just make it let me just make it as p and inside this you can just write here output.png 
so this is the file name you can see that now we just need to pass this path p and a second argument which is as attachment to true so this will download the image file as an attachment so this property you need to pass and now the application is complete and now if I run this now if I refresh it you will see that it is converted to a hyperlink and I can just click on this link if I click on this link it will download the image as an attachment and I can just open the image you can see that the same image is is being downloaded by this module so in this simple way you can just download any kind of file in flask application with this help of this module